Good evening, everyone. Our worship leader hasn't gotten on yet, but we're going to start because it's seven o'clock. We welcome you to our fifth Lenten service, and tonight we're going to begin with a hymn of praise. Good evening, everyone. I'm apologizing for joining you all late, but that's right. The Lord is glorious, and I hope you all are having a wonderful evening. Next, we will have the invocation by Sister Louise Hardy, followed by scripture by Troy Phillips, Jr., in that order. Let us bow. Dear Father in heaven, God, we thank you for this day and we just know that you are wonderful and we've come to praise you. As we come into this worship service, God, we ask that you let your spirit enter in. Help the spirit 
to remove all the cares of today from our minds and let us focus on worshiping you in spirit and in truth. These things we ask for in your son, Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Hello, my name is Troy, and we'll be reading scripture John, 4, uh, John 15, 4 through 5. Remain in me as I will remain in you. No branch can bear fruit by itself. It must remain in the vine. Neither can you bear fruit unless you remain in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit apart from me. You can do nothing. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Amen. And now we will have the, thank you. Thank you, Brother Troy Phillips and Sister Louise Hardy. Thank you very much. And now we will have the introduction of the illustrious speaker by Brother Odell Sherman, the IT team, followed by a musical selection um, by the IT team with the Brooklyn Tabernacle Choir. He is wonderful. Good evening. I have the honor and pleasure to introduce tonight's speaker of the hour, Dylan Sherman. Dylan is the son of very proud parents, yours truly, Odell, and his mother, Elaine Sherman. Dylan is a senior at Oxen Hill High School and is planning to attend an HBCU this fall, majoring in mass communications. He has an older brother, Brandon, whom he truly loves. Dylan is a child of Russell Temple, and some of you have seen him grow from an infant to the mature young man he is today. Dylan has been part of the children's ministry. Little Buzz is an active member of the youth ministry, and at one point would do the announcements and greet visitors during morning worship service. One thing that comes to mind is how loud Dylan would say the affirmation of faith during service, and Reverend King would always encourage him each time. Dylan loves sports and is a diehard Eagles, Wizards, and Nationals fan. Dylan's quiet. He doesn't talk too much until he's comfortable around you. I could go on and on talking about Dylan but I know he, he doesn't enjoy hearing about himself. That said, Dylan, we love you. We are so proud of you and continue to put God in your life. Always make him first. So after the selection, the next voice you will hear is Dylan Sherman. God bless.
Hello, Russell Temple. First, I want to give honor and glory to God, who is the head of my life. I want to thank the pastor for trusting me to present the word. I also want to thank Miss Hardy for having faith in me. I also want to thank all of you who are here to hear God's word. I want to thank my grandma and aunts for taking the time to listen in and always supporting me. I want to thank my parents for always being there to support me in all my endeavors. I love you. Let us bow our heads in prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever. Amen. After I accepted the, the assignment to speak it during linen season, a bit of panic sat in me. I started thinking I had to give a speech and questioning why I know about passionate worship. Then I could hear my mom saying, sometimes you have to go back to your foundation or take it back to the basics. It reminded me when I had to say the recitations at church as a little kid. So here I go taking it back to the basics. Peter's for powerful. We worship with God while he is at work doing powerful things. We get realigned, refreshed, and refueled. We find unspeakable joy and indescribable peace. We discover the breakthrough strength of God, which enables us to walk in the truth, live in this, and live in his presence. It is how we put the beauty of gospel on display, receive his many blessings, at the same time be a blessing to the world. A is for awesome. God is awesome because he has provided salvation for mankind. John 3.16 states, God loved the world so much that he gave his one and only son so that whoever believes in him may not be lost but have eternal life. Knowing that God is awesome takes the pressure off me. God's glory is not dependent upon me. Yes, we must have vessels of glory for him, but he, he is not dependent upon it. When we begin to understand the power and majesty of our God and that he is the potter, we are the clay. Knowing God is awesome and that I can trust him leads me to trust that even when I blow it, he is there to bend down and pick up the broken pieces and heal. S is for Savior. In the book of Isaiah, he makes a bold declaration. He tells the people that one day not only will Israel be reunited, but that one day all people will be united under the reign of a coming Savior. The Savior that Isaiah was speaking of, of course, was Jesus. Matthew confirmed this by quoting from this passage in his gospel and applying this prophecy to Christ. Isaiah declared that with the Savior's coming, men will receive enlightenment, joy, deliverance, and peace. And if you participate in a passion of worship, you will experience all that Isaiah speaks of. S is for spirit. Worship in spirit and truth. John chapter 4 verse, verse 23, 24 states, Yet a time is coming and has now come when the true worshipers will worship the Father in the spirit and in truth. For they are the kind of worshipers the Father seeks. God is spirit and his worshipers must worship in the spirit and in truth. Many people pretend to worship God. However, the Lord sees their hearts and minds. God accepts true worship from those who are a part of the body of Christ and live true, truthful lives. When we are honest with the Lord to confess our sins, we are purified to worship him in spirit and truth. I is for incomparable. Nothing compares to the gift God gave us through his son. Of all things God has done for man, this is by far the best of all gifts. Once we have handled the word of God, we have tasted the goodness of God. We have heard the voice of the Lord speak to us, and we have beheld his beauty and grace, and we have gained the wisdom that he has to offer, and we have seen his majesty and power, and that we know that certainly there is nothing that can compare to him. Oh, for obedient. 
a passionate obedience to the Father and unwavering commitment to his mission, see Jesus do the loneliness of Gethsemane and to the Christ. This really is the passion of Christ. The passion of the worshiper must take on the very same characteristics. In us for nurture. Nurture as defined by the Merriam-Webster Dictionary means to supply with nourishment, to educate, or to further the development of. Scripture reveals a God who is a tender parent gently nudging towards maturity in Christ to maintain a relationship with him. That is why we that is why he sent his Holy Spirit and one of the functions of the Holy Spirit to teach us. John chapter 14 verse 26 says, But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things, and bring all things to your remembrance, whatsoever I have said unto you. The Lord wants us to have a relationship with him to help us grow in a passionate worship. A is for adoration. When you get to the right, when you get to the right, when you get right to the core, very core of the worship, this is what you will find. Worship is first and foremost an expression of our love and adoration to a God who loves us first. T is for thanks. Giving thanks reveals God's presence in all other places also. Throughout the thanksgiving, God's presence is manifest. So the easiest way to start worshiping passionately is to thank God for everything and any day. So even when the inconveniences involved with corporate worship. E is for excellence. Worship should express our devotion, our honor, and love of God. Passionate worship fosters a yearning to authentically honor God with excellence and with an unusual clarity about connecting people to God. Psalm 150 says, Praise God for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. God requires our very best and we dishonor God if we offer anything less. In conclusion, in conclusion and passionate worship, we need to connect and nurture our relationship with the Lord. In doing this, we will worship with reverence and awe. Hebrews chapter 12 verse 28 says, Therefore, since we are receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken, let us be thankful. And so worship God acceptably with reverence and awe. For our God is a consuming fire. Worshiping God is not to be taken lightly or presumptuously. The Lord is holy, majestic, and powerful, and the Lord should be worshipped in a manner that he is worthy, persistently, purposefully, personable, powerful, and with passionate. Thank you.
Amen. Hallelujah. Did not our hearts burn within us? Amen. Did not Brother Dylan Sherman put it down? Hallelujah. Somebody ought to give God some praise. Amen. What a powerful word. Amen. God used this dynamic young man. God is awesome. Amen. Thank you so much, uh, Brother Dylan, for allowing the Lord to use you in an awesome and powerful way. Amen. To God be the glory for the awesome things that God is always doing. And to God be the glory for the awesome things that God did through his messenger, Brother Dylan Sherman, on this evening. My brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, I dare not have the audacity to automatically presume that everyone is absolutely positive that his or her soul is saved. They might be someone worshiping with us this evening who would like to commit his or her life to Jesus Christ our Lord. Or perhaps there is one worshiping with us this evening who's already a believer who would like to recommit or rededicate your life to the Lord. Perhaps there's someone worshiping with us this evening after hearing that inspiring message who may have a calling on his or her life to preach or to exhort or to begin a new ministry in the life of the church. If there's anyone tonight who would like to give his or her life to Christ, if there's anyone who would like to recommit or rededicate his or her life to Christ, or if there's anyone who is in need of a church home, amen. I don't want to be presumptuous about that either. Somebody might be looking for a church home. We'd love to have you as a part of Russell Temple. Um, Sister Hardy, just type my work on the cell phone number in the chat, 201-736-9107. If you'd like to do it directly, privately, intimately with the pastor, you can call or text me. If you'd like to make a more public profession, you are free to uh, unmute yourself and profess verbally or type a public or private message in the chat. Nonetheless, my beloved sisters and brothers in Christ Jesus, as we continue in these series of Lenten uh, worship services uh, electronically, the doors of the church are wide open on the hinges of welcome. Is there one who will come to Jesus tonight? Is there one who will recommit to Christ tonight? Is there one who will join the church tonight? Is there one who has a calling on his or her life who wants to answer their calling? Is there one who will make a commitment to the Lord this evening? The doors of the church are now open. Hallelujah. Give God praise for our worship on this evening. Give God praise for our messenger. At this time, beloved, I invite you to a virtual altar call. Amen. Even though we're not in the edifice, you know, God's altar can be anywhere. But we humbly go before God in prayer. In the general epistle to the Hebrews, the word of God tells us to come boldly before the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy, that we may find grace to help in the time of need. Now, my beloved, let us go before God's throne of grace. Let every heart pray. O thou in whose presence my soul takes delight, on whom in affliction I call, my comfort by day and my song in the night, my hope, my salvation, my all. Gracious and loving God, our Heavenly Father, we give you thanks and we give you praise for your goodness, your grace, and your mercy. We give you thanks and we give you praise for the many blessings you have bestowed upon us. We give you thanks and we give you praise for food, for clothing, for shelter. We give you thanks and we give you praise for all the many blessings you have bestowed upon us. We give you thanks and we give you praise for the greatest gift ever given, the gift of your only begotten son, our Lord and our savior, Jesus the Christ who shed his precious blood for the pardon and remission of our sins and the sins of the whole world. We thank you for the incomparable gift of your only begotten son, our Lord and our savior, Jesus the Christ, who laid down his life and had the power to take it back up again, that all of us who profess faith in him may have everlasting life. We give you thanks and we give you praise for this gathered worshiping community. 
We give you thanks and we give you praise for this dynamic young speaker, Brother Dylan Sherman. We give you thanks and we give you praise for his commitment to worship passionately and authentically with excellence. We give you thanks and we give you praise for the example of faith that was passed on to him through his parents. We give you thanks and we give you praise for the love and support of his wonderful family. We give you thanks and we give you praise for this wonderful Russell Temple congregation. We give you thanks and we give you praise for all of the worshipers who have assembled together with us this evening to worship you in spirit and in truth. And Lord, we give you thanks and we give you praise for the grace and the faith to trust in the power of prayer. Lord God, I lift up every precious soul gathered within the sound of my voice. I pray, oh God, your blessings upon every family and every household represented by the members of this gathered community. Uh, Lord God, I pray your blessings upon every family and every household represented by all the members of the Russell Temple Church family. Lord God, we lift up our church family to you. Lord God, we lift up the Christian Methodist Episcopal Church to you. Lord God, we lift up the Christian Church as the body of Christ to you. Lord God, we lift up our community to you. Lord God, we pray your blessings upon the situation that is kept group one shut down in Alexandria, Lord God, last I heard for more than 31 hours. Lord God, you know that you can do all things but fail, Lord God. We know that you are a refuge and our strength, a very present help in trouble. Lord God, we lift up all of our brothers and sisters in the city of Nashville and around the state of Tennessee and even around the nation and around the world, dealing with the emotional trauma of the latest mass shooting at the elementary school in Nashville, Tennessee. We pray, oh God, your comfort, strength, and peace upon all of those precious souls who lost their lives. And oh Lord, our God, we just pray that you would help us to bring an end to senseless acts of violence. We pray, oh God, that you would help us to come to our senses and enact real gun reform policy. And oh Lord, our God, we lift up all of our brothers and sisters impacted by the devastating tornadoes in Mississippi and in Arkansas. And Lord God, we lift up our brothers and sisters in the Southeast as we have heard that even more tumultuous weather might be headed their way. Lord God, we know that you are always present. Lord, we know that you are omnipresent. Lord, we know that you are omniscient. Lord, we know that you are omnipotent. Lord God, we know that you are all in all in our everything. And Lord, we know that you promised never to leave us nor forsake us. We know that you promised to be with us until the end of the age. Lord, we know that you promised never to leave us, never to leave us alone. Hear our prayer, O Lord. Hear our prayer, O Lord. Incline thine ear to us and grant us thy peace. In the precious name of Jesus, our Christ, we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Can we give God some more praise for this evening's Worship experience to God be the glory. Amen. Can we give God some more praise for the word by Brother Dylan Sherman? Amen. Can we give God some praise for our worship leader, Sister Ayanna Palmore? Amen. Can we give God some praise for our worship service participants on this evening? Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Can we give God some praise for our tech team? Amen. It's always selected some wonderful uh, renditions to that music. Now, I'm about to go old school in a minute. I'm glad that Martha Manuzzi uh, verified it. All the years I've heard that uh, that that Christian jam, glorious, uh, and I'm, I'm dating myself now, Russell Temple. I'm dating myself, but I just knew that was Sheila E on those drums. I was like, oh, and then, then, then sure enough, I, sure enough, Martha Manuzzi verified it. She said Sheila. I, said, I knew that was Sheila E. Amen. But God bless you. What a beautiful worship experience on this evening. Uh, what a joy it is to worship the Lord in spirit and in truth. What a joy it is to see all of you on uh, this evening to worship, to God be the glory. We give God thanks and praise for all of our first five weeks of these Lenten season worship services. Amen. I think all of our speakers have been the right person. Amen. They have been the right person for the right night. Amen. To God be the glory. Just awesome. Just awesome. Amen. Praise God. Well, I told you we had two surprises at the end of our Lenten time. Amen. We started out with five adult females. Tonight we came back um, with a young, with a young male. Amen. A male youth. Amen. Praise God. 
Well, next week we got another surprise. Now, actually, we're going back to we're going back to adult females, but this time we're going to have an adult female that I know you've never heard give a meditation in a worship service. Amen. Praise the Lord. So even though we're going with an adult female, we're going with someone who's a little bit new to doing meditations in these worship services. Our messenger for next Wednesday evening, the Lord being our helper, the Lord willing, be none other than the First Lady of the Russell Temple Church in the Washington, Virginia District, Gwen Agee. Amen. That's our messenger to close us out on next week. So y'all pray for your First Lady. Amen. Praise God. Her husband didn't get in too much trouble asking her to speak. Amen. To God be the glory for the awesome things that God has done. Amen. God bless you. Heaven smile upon you. And one more thing I'll share with you. We'll have a little bit more detail with you later. But we've been asked to a partner, definitely with Lane Memorial and Converted Heart. Maybe another congregation too, but we'll be a partnering with Lane Memorial and Converted Heart for a sunrise service on Resurrection Sunday morning. More details to come in the coming few days. God bless you. Heaven smile upon you. Have a wonderfully blessed rest of your week. Thank you again, Brother Dylan, for an awesome message and safe travels to you and your parents and your family. I understand y'all doing a little visiting. Amen. Uh, now, this brother's already been accepted at, at, at some of those institutions, but I understand you're going to be doing a little visiting. Amen. So congratulations to you. God be with you as you uh, make your choice as to where you will matriculate to continue your education. To God be the glory for the awesome things God has done. Now, my beloved, all hearts and minds are clear. Let us receive our benediction for this evening. God be with you till we meet again. By his counsels, God uphold you. With his sheep, securely fold you. God be with you till we meet again. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you and give you peace now and forevermore. And the redeemed of the Lord said, Amen. Mm -hmm.